Hello, dear friend. How are you? I came back again today. As I promised on time, 10 p.m. I still. This is Leila again with you, and I'm so happy to hear from you about your suggestion and inquiry. Today, I want to talk one of important topics that most of midwives and some doulas they are confusing during labor and birth. Yeah. Recognizing the onset of the labor is very important. It is difference between women to women. And it's very, very different by mother's experience and feelings. The onset of the labor is a process, not an event. Therefore, it's very difficult to identify exactly when the painless contraction of pre-labor develop into the progressive rhythmic contraction of established labor. Thank you. So diagnosing the onset of labor is extremely important since it is one of the basis of this finding that decisions are made that will affect the intrapartum care and support subsequently provided. It is a part of role of midwife because midwife should ensure that women and that woman to ensure that sufficient information to assist her in recognizing the onset of established labor. Because sometimes the women are not aware if it is established labor or it is pre-labor contraction. Hi, thank you so much. Salam, thank you. Uh, so, As I told you, our role as a midwife, one part of our role as a midwife is to ensure women about to have sufficient information to assist them in recognizing the onset of the established labor. This information is also needed to enable women to make informed choices based on current and unbiased evidence. The complex, uh, the complex uh, physical, psychological, and emotional experience of labor affects every woman differently and midwife must have sound knowledge and experience to enable the woman to maintain control over the birth of her body. Women in labor should be encouraged to trust their own instincts, listen to their own body, and verbalize feeling in order to receive the help and support they require. Anxiety can increase the production of adrenaline. As you know, it is like epinephrine which inhibits uterine activity and may in turn prolonged labor happen. You know, we have many different anxiety that may happen around the mothers. For example, if the family are so stressed or if, if the place is too much noise, if there is too much light in the place, no quiet, no support, no positive thought, no positive energy. There be so much crowded people around her. Or some things, negative thoughts or negative beliefs from others around her. These all suppress adrenaline. And you know, as you know, 
uh, sorry, not suppress, increase adrenaline. What else can increase adrenaline? It's, for example, on um, the weather of the room, the weather of the place, for example, is so much hot or so much cold, is increased adrenaline. Or, for example, the people is around her, the staff, the nurse, the midwife, who's stressed or she's so much scared, she increased adrenaline for mother. So we have to know how to reduce adrenaline in that time for the mother. How we can do it as a midwife. You know, you midwife, you nurse that you want to be a midwife in future, you as a doula and some childbed educator, you know how to help to the women to reduce adrenaline, to make the room very calm, quiet, cozy, less light, family and husband support, massage, talk about positive future, give her enough emotional, psychological, and informative support. What else you think can decrease adrenaline in the mother? So fear as an anxiety increase adrenaline. So it makes prolonged labor. It makes false labor very long time, very prolonged. Many women experience contraction before the onset of labor, as I told you, like that, because of this adrenaline. And they feel it very painful, plus very irregular. Sometimes they think their labor has started. And even some women have experience of early labor that they call it, we call it report as a prolonged contraction or being in uh, labor for days. That is very important for them, feel them very discomfort. So we have as a midwife to know how to settle this mother, how to make her sure that this time, uh, yeah, this time is long. This is so much suffering, but you have to tolerate and cope with that situation till to reach to establish labor with that because you know that established labor is when there is effacement and dilation of cervix so maybe using this term terminology for mothers such as it is spurious or false labor is unhelpful and typically negative in terms of women Gene, gene experience of early labor. Just reassure them. And reassurance should be given and discussion of this potential situation earlier in the pregnancy can enable the woman and her partner to prepare for labor more effectively. Con they should contact with midwife and make them call Midwife should explain to them when you are in uh, uh, labor, it is the time you get regular rhythmic uh, uterine contraction till you don't have regular and rhythmic contraction. So you are not still in phase of labor. And even they should be sure that midwife is with them. The latent phase of the labor always is time is six to eight hours in pre-gravida mother. And it is the time from cervix dilation will reach from zero centimeter to four centimeter dilated. So before that, maybe they have this much contraction, an irregular contraction that doesn't affect in uh, dilation and effacement of cervix. I had many cases that they had two days even premature labor pain and in onset of the labor it was so painful for two days so I asked them to go to shopping 
spend time with family don't focus on the pain take a hot shower sit on the ball dance and especially some tango dance with the husband make them so much calm that they can come through that till they reach to latent phase of the labor sometimes when you talk with them and reassure them that your latent phase will happen very soon if you can be calm try to sleep take a hot bath make you so much relax it make them so much happy and let them to take rest and can tolerate this time massage of the back with husband and doing some small exercise changing position go to the park shopping spending with family time with family and try to cook her um, uh, favorite food make her mind busy so she doesn't focus in her pain and sometimes if they are so irritated with that we will try to check how much is their hydration basics sometimes they are very dehydrated because if they get fear and anxiety when the adrenaline increase uh, so they will get less uh, water intake their body became tired and they get more 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 tiredness feeling try to advise them to have some um, try to drink some uh, their herbal uh, drinks or sometimes in Iranian and Persian alternative medicine we uh, advise them to drink zafaran there is some I don't know if you know what's that some zafaran powder they add in hot water add some rose water in that plus one spoon of um, honey natural honey and one lemon juice they made a very nice cocktail try to drink that sometimes if you add some mint leaf to this cocktail make it so tasty and juicy the other thing that is very helpful for this mother in this exhausting time of pre-labor is drinking some herbal tea. In Iran traditional medicine, we have some uh, coriander that we are using this coriander in uh, water and keep in the steam so a slide, a slowly this coriander uh, leaf will spread in the water and these herbal drinks will make them so much calm plus make the dilation and effacement of the cervix very early and very fast the other herbal medicine that I found in um, Mm, India that is very lovely and very helpful they have some halwa they call it halwa actually we have in Iran like kachi they um, make some flour with some special nutrition oil they cook it and make it a little bit like liquid paste and give to mother it gives them more energy make them relax and if you can add some zafaran on that, it makes them so much fresh. Actually, zafaran is a flower, it's most in Iran, and give fresh happiness and give too much energy to mother. I like to know how you give some um, uh, traditional advice to the mother in long uh, um, latent phase. I want to hear from you and what um, other advice do you using for your mothers? I have some experience from Dubai uh, and as you know in Dubai we have sea and beach. We were trying to convince mother to go to the sea, uh, to beach and try to walk without shoes on the sands. 
So when they were coming to us, I was uh, examining there, and they were not. There was no dilation and no cervix effacement, but they had this contraction. I was advising them to go with their husband to have a walk in the beach. You cannot believe me. It had. It was so much effective. After three, four hours, they are supposed to come back. I checked the progress of the labor. It was fantastic. They were um, so happy and telling that all of our pain gone. Okay, I think now our time finished for today class. If you let me just, I want to spend some time in person, then I will answer your, oh, too much wave. Thank you so much. Leila uh, Gardiner, written asleep, breathe, relax, calm, rest, walk, battle, latent, yeah, latent labor. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of your wave, Perry, Becky, Iwana, uh, Mersana, Becky, Sadiqa. Thank you, Daniel, Clara, Eugenia, thank you so much, Jessica, thank you, Jennifer, thank you so much, thank you too, Leila. <laughs> uh, I want to talk some in person, some of this note with my um, Afghani and Tajikistani friend that who are speaking Farsi and they ask me, I speak and talk about these matters at the end of the session in Persian. Salam dostan aziz nazanin gulam, dostan afghan, tajik va irani va farsi zaban gul azizam dar kar sar ta sar dunya. Mabhasi ke imruz man sohbat mi koyam dar hati ba in hastish ke chujuni ma betunim latent faz ro dar yek madari tashkis bedi. بعضی مادران لیتن فاز های خیلی طولانی دارن مخصوصا در خانم های شکم اول و ممکنه روزها این درد های کنترکشن های ایریگولانا و ناهماهنگ رو داشته باشن تا بشه ریتمیک و با کنترکشن های قوی همونطور که میدونی یک مادر شکم اول اگر خیلی اطلاعات کافی از کنترکشن های دقیق و زمان شروع زایمان نداشته باشه فکر میکنی که الان وارد مرحله فاز فعال شده کاری که ما میکنیم باید بهش بگیم کی شروع زایمان هست وقتی که کنترکشن هاش هنوز منظم نشده به شدت زیاد و پشت سر هم نشده این یعنی تازه شروع لیبر تازه آنسته ولی باید به اندازه کافی بهش اون حمایت عاطفی روانی و اطلاعاتی کافی رو بدیم که بتونه این روزها رو تیگ بکنه تا برسه به یک کنترکشن های دائم قوی پشت سر همون منظم کاری که میتونیم بکنیم این هستش که اول از همه ترس و نگرانیش رو کم کنیم چون خود ترس و نگرانی که این مادر داره باعث افزایش ترشوی آدرنالی میشه و خود این باعث میشه که مادر دردهای بیشتر و کنترکشن ها نامنظمی بیشتر و طولی تری رو دریافت کنه خب چه چیزهایی باعث آدرنالین زیاد میشه خستگی سر و صدای اطراف اتاق شروق و پر سر صدا نور زیاد اذیت کننده جمعیت زیاد دورو افراد نگران رو دیدن نداشتن مامای قوی قدرتمند و معتمد و اعتماد به نفس دار دیگه چی میتونه آدرنالین رو افزایش بده ترس از ندانسته ها بعضی وقتا نمیدونه داره چه اتفاقی براش میفته گاهی قد اطلاعاتش کافی نیست و به خاطر همین این باعث میشه که این مادر نتونه اون ترسش رو غلبه بکنه گاهی اوقات به خاطر افزایش آدرنالین اینها کاهش آب بدن پیدا میکنن دیهایدریت میشن توصیه میکنیم یه سری نوشیدنی های خوبی رو که میتونه بهش کمک کنه شارجش بکنه آرامش کنه استفاده کنه مثل دمنوش زعفران که ما در ایران داریم یا در کشورهای آسیایی مثل هندوستان مثلا ما حلوا رو داریم یا مثلا در کشورهای عربی یه سری کاچی های معروف رو داریم یا استفاده از دوش گرفتن حمام آب گرم ماساژ 
رفتن اگه بیش اطرافش از روی راه رفتن روی بیچ کنار ساحل یا اینکه رفتن به مرکز خرید به فروشگاه یعنی یه جوری که سرش گرم بشه به مهمانی پختن غذایی که خیلی دوست داره بهش کمک میکنیم که سرش رو گرم کنه از این ف... از اون میزان آدرنالینش بیاد پایین برخصه با همسرش تنگو و تنگو دنس بکنه و هر آنچه که کمک کنه ترس و استرابش بیاد پایین تا این لحظه های درد های ادامه نظم بگذنه و وارد فاز فعال بشه فاز لیتن فاز بشه لیتن فاز وقتی هستش که مادر از صفر سانتیمتر میرسه به چهار سه تا چهار سانتیمتر دایلیشن و سرویکسش حداقل به پنجاه درصد افاسمان میرسه پس برای اینکه یک خانم این مرحله رو رد کنه و وارد لیتن فاز بشه یک حمایت روانی اطلاعاتی عاطفی و در کنارش سعی میکنیم ذهنش رو مشغول فعالیت هایی بکنیم که از درد خارج بشه من دیگه بیشتر از این وقتتون رو نمیگیرم هم سعی میکنم هر روز یه سری اطلاعات کوچیکی براتون بگم که بشین بهش فکر کنین در با نوشیدنی هایی که صحبت کردم نوشیدنی که در ایران ما میدیم که به مادر هم آرامش بده هم خواب خوب بده و هم انرژی بده نوشیدنی زعفران هست که همراه با یه قاشق اصل یک مقدار لیمو ترش تازه و یک مقدار گلاب اینو مخلوط میکنیم یه کوکتل درست میکنیم میدیم بهش بخوره که هم انرژی بگیره هم خواب خوابش خوب شه هم در ایران ما دم کرده کوریاندار میشه گیشنیز خیلی توصیه میکنیم و همچنین در عرض کردم بعض از کشورهای عربی و یا در آسیایی هم چیزی مثل کاچی هست که هم انرژی میده به مادر هم شل آبکی و همین که خواب و آرامش خوبی رو میده پس سعی کنیم مادر رو بهش کمک کنین بخوابه اگر خوابش نمیبره درداش زیاده دوش و آب گرد به وینش بیلون فعالیت بکنه مهمانی بره یک فعالیت شاد رو براش ایجاد بکنین که آدرنالینش رو کمتر ترش رو کنه بیاد پایین مرسی از این که منو حمایت میکنین مرسی که با دوستان دیگرتون اینها رو به اشتراک میذارین تا عزیزان دیگه هم این مطالب رو یاد بگیرن یا از تجارب استفاده کنن و بتونن به مادران عزیز خدمت کنن Thank you everybody for your, um, bearing us I was talking in person Thank you so much to hearing me out and following us in YouTube channel Lily Mom Center LMC. Please press the bell icon and subscribe us in the channel and please don't hesitate to share with your friends. It is very a small basic midwifery uh, training now but slowly slowly I'm trying to go step to step in a uh, progressive session. So try to come with us from basic midwifery experience and slowly slowly we will try to develop our skills to more further experience thank you for your way thank you ersa thank you faisal faisal hello veronica thank you so much uh she did thank you so much and uh, every night i try to come to you in this time hope to see you good day Good office.